My favourite book, and the book that has probably had the greatest influence on my life, is the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. It's a collection of 81 poems about mysticism, spirituality, truth, and the nature of the Absolute, which is referred to as the Tao, or the Way. And it's a two and a half thousand year old text from ancient China, from the Taoist uh, tradition. And I really recommend uh, the book to you. You can read it in one night. Uh, there are many different translations, and I've kind of lost track of the different ones that I've read. But I feel like you get something different out of each translation. And one thing I suppose I learn more generally through my engagement with this text is that perhaps when approaching religious texts it's important to be looking for the truth more than simply asking is this true or false. Yeah, I love it. It's a beautiful um, piece of writing. Um, it's a joy to read and it kind of blew my mind when I was 13 years old and I discovered it on the internet. Um, suffice it to say, the copyright has expired, so you can find a copy for free on the internet very easily. It was the early days of the internet, and I had just watched Star Wars, and it's funny the things that put you on the path towards philosophy, but I suppose I did like the Jedi and some of the wise things they said. And I looked into it and found that... Gene, stop scratching. Genie baby, you will annoy my YouTube viewers. <laughs> I have a cat right now as I stay with a friend in Mexico City. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I, I found that... Um, Star Wars, the, the Star Wars religion, the Jedi, was kind of based loosely on Taoism. And so I started to research it and I started to look for wise quotes and sayings. And I really enjoyed, especially those early days perhaps, of discovering profound truths that fly in the face of what is seen as normal in our society. Taoism is a slightly I suppose rebellious religion in a way and uh, it's quite cynical about the games of society I think you could also safely say it says at one point that the best of men is like water dwelling in places others would prefer not to be and that's good advice I think in life you know if you can get used to being in perhaps modest living situations and conditions, it will free you a great deal from the general slavery that is normal in our society. It also, I suppose, is slightly anti-philosophical in some respects. It says at one point that the scholar learns more and more every day, whilst the wise man forgets more and more every day. So there's an anti-intellectualism within Taoism that I suppose resonated with me as someone who went to a highly uh, selective academic school that was so focused on academia and intellectualization as if it were really important and useful. And the Tao Te Ching challenged those ideas. As I read the book, I found it brought me peace as I read it, and I have read it hundreds of times since that first time. It spoke to me, uh, it really resonated with me. So I recommend The Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu if you are looking for an interesting philosophical text, um, and I hope that you enjoy it. <laughs>